What's up noobs? Welcome to Noobs Perspective. Today I wanted to give a quick guide on how to do while loops. So I just created a little program here so we can test some different things with a while loop. To get started with the while loop, the keyword is while, and then over here you will put your arguments, and it's basically gonna run while that argument is true, until there's a way to tell it to stop. Meaning, when it loops back around and the argument's false, it'll stop, or there are a couple keywords that'll help you break out of a while loop. Um, I like to do things in parentheses. You don't have to do that. You can keep it out of the parentheses. I'm going to create a variable so that I can start my while loop. I could just give a condition such as while 1 is, holds the same value as 1. And as you can see, it's going to run forever and ever. Because 1 is always going to be equal to 1. Instead of doing that, I'm going to create a variable that I can manipulate. Because I can't change the value of 1. I can't say 1 now equals 2, because 1 equals 2 is going to return a boolean value of false, because that's not true. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to start by setting it equal to 1, and I'm going to say while looper is 1. Make sure to use this equivalency operator, not to be confused with the assignment operator, which is a single equal sign. And don't forget your colon. So while looper is 1, do this. And after the print, I'm going to tell it to say that looper now equals zero. So it only ran once. It only ran once because I told it to print blah, looper equals zero, and then it loops back around. Is looper equal to one? It is no longer equal to one, it's equal to zero. So it only ran once. What I can do to make it continue to run forever is type continue and it keeps running. The reason for that is continue is telling the program to continue to the next iteration of the while loop. So it actually never makes it down to my looper equals zero because it's executing this first. Now let's get an example of where we use an if statement to get a different value. I'm gonna get some input from the user and if I don't get the kind of input that I want, I'm going to... Start over. Let's assign this to I'm actually going to make this an integer. If answer is if one as well. If answer holds the value of one, then I want you to continue. Else, I want it to break out of my loop. Blah, how are you? I am one, 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 one. Anytime I get one, it's telling it to continue and start over at the loop on the next iteration. Let's give it a different value. Two. I gave it a different value, and it broke out of the loop because we have this break right here. I didn't give it a value of one, so it didn't continue. It broke. Let's do a different comparison. My is greater than or equal to 1. Let's do 10 so we don't have too many iterations. I'm going to have this decrement. Sounds like excrement. Decrement or decrement, however you pronounce that, which basically means to reduce the value of something. Is my definition. Looper is going to be equal to looper minus 1. So each time it runs this, it's going to subtract 1 from looper. It's actually a quicker way to write that. I could say minus equals one. That'll have the same effect. It's going to assign looper the value of looper minus one. It's gonna run that until looper no longer. It's gonna run that until looper no longer equals one or greater. That means that after it finished running, looper should equal zero. Now, if looper is zero, we can also have it print something when it's done by uh, coming back on the same level as the while loop. So after the while loop's done, it runs the next thing on the same level. So we will print done. And done. There. You can also do else to say when looper is false to do this. And I'll just do the same thing. I'll say done. Shows done there, which is basically the same effect as if I had just done it outside of the loop. Done, done. 
that's it for the uh, this quick guide on while wow loops. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, if you want some more examples on how to implement other things in while wow loops. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.